just for the audience, would you please just tell us your full name and how long you've lived at Brookdale? Henry Rich, and I've been here 10 years. Well, we lived in um, Buffalo Grove for a while, but originally we were from Birmingham, but we lived in Kansas City for 40 years. So then we moved here, one of our kids are here, so we decided to move here. Share a little bit about how you came to find Brookdale and what prompted you to come to a community like this. Well, my wife had told me she was tired of cooking and cleaning. And then for the next two years, she kept trying to talk me into moving and I told her I was too young to come out, come out and I wasn't ready to come into a retirement home. And then one day, she, went down for dinner and there was nothing there. You don't know you want it till you move into it. And we looked at four or five places and we liked the size of the room, we liked the community, and we just decided to move here. And it was a, a great move. It really was a good thing to move here. We came here and we didn't know a soul. And we went down to dinner the first couple of times and we met some people, we sat with them, and then we all of a sudden we started playing cards with them. We got friendly with them and it, it occupied our time. And things went very, very well for us. We were very, very happy here, very content. For the first five years, it was just wonderful here. And then my wife died and I was, I was left alone. And after 64 years, I didn't know that I'd be able to go on by myself. And then I stayed in my apartment for, I imagine four or five days, I didn't go anywhere. And then one night I went down for dinner and the people that we've been sitting with, we, I sat with them again. They didn't bring up sad parts or anything else. They didn't feel sorry for me. And gradually it kept getting better and better. I, when I leave my front door, there was always someone there to talk to and then I started getting getting involved with the activities here. I, I don't feel lonely at all. That's and it just, wonderful. It just takes up my time, and and if there's an issue comes up, there's always someone to talk to about it. I have absolutely not one complaint about Brooklyn. I I don't have anything. I mean, the food sometimes the food isn't great. But when my wife fixed dinner all the time, it wasn't the greatest in the world either. <laughs> there you go. So, so, but it was, I mean, I, I just, I really do like it here. I mean, there's, that's about all I can say about the place. Now that you've been in senior living, would you have done anything different than you did when you came? I probably would have come in, when she suggested coming in, I probably wouldn't have waited two years to come in. That's great. And so, 10 years. 10 years. That is a long time. Well, I'll be, uh, I'll be 45 soon. <laughs> so. <laughs> that is great. Well, I want to thank you again for sharing your wonderful story. And I, I, can't, I can't wait to come back and visit with you again. Same here. Thank you. Thank you.